Okay, everyone, I've got an interesting one for you guys today. OpenAI just unveiled their latest innovative search GPT, and I think this could really shake up the game if optimized properly. But as always, let me know what you guys all think in the comments below. Now, this AI-powered search engine is poised to take on big names like Google and Bing, but how much of a dent they'll make in them, well, time will tell. So, let's unpack why this is so exciting. First off, SearchGPT is being rolled out as a prototype to a select group of users and publishers. Basically, the magic of SearchGPT lies in its ability to combine OpenAI's advanced AI with real-time web searches. The cool thing is that it doesn't just toss a bunch of links at you because it instead organizes the information and presents it in a super user-friendly way. Picture this, you're searching for music festivals in Boone, North Carolina in August 2024. Instead of bombarding you with links, SearchGPT gives you a neat summary of the festivals, complete with descriptions and links to the sources. According to OpenAI, this new search engine aims to make finding information online quicker and smoother. In short, it looks like everything is laid out in a clear conversational format, making the whole experience a lot more intuitive. Now folks, OpenAI has big plans to integrate these search features directly into ChatGPT and beyond, which will be a huge upgrade for all the users who rely on it for various tasks. They're also tackling some major concerns and have popped up with AI in search. We've seen other AI search tools like Google AI's Overviews and Perplexity get flack from publishers for taking content without proper attribution, which I guess can hurt traffic and ad revenue for the original sites. But you know, OpenAI is doing things differently by partnering with publishers and giving them control over how their content is used. They've even got big names like the Wall Street Journal and The Atlantic on board, showing the trust they're building. One of the coolest features of SearchGPT is how it handles attributions. When you search for something, you get answers with clear inline citations and links to the original sources. This not only lets users see where the info is coming from, but also drives traffic back to the publishers. So basically, this move is all about creating a more symbiotic relationship between AI tools and content creators. Anyway, folks, it's still in early stages. Only around 10,000 test users will get to try out SearchGPT. Basically, OpenAI is pulling in content directly and teaming up with third-party partners to craft the search results. I guess the strategy is all about gathering feedback and fine-tuning everything before a broader launch. They say that the goal is to make web searches not just quicker, but also more precise and, well, dependable. Now, if you ask me, I think this move by OpenAI comes at a pretty interesting time. Google is currently tangled up in a major antitrust lawsuit from the US Department of Justice, accusing it of monopolizing the internet search space. I guess the situation could give newcomers like SearchGPT a real chance to shake things up. I mean, following OpenAI's announcement, Alphabet's shares dropped 3.6% in after-hours trading. Google, which owns about 90% of the search engine market, is now facing a direct challenge from OpenAI's latest offering. It seems this really does underscore the heated competition in the AI search arena, especially between Microsoft-backed OpenAI and Google. What's clear here is that knowing how to use AI is becoming crucial to staying relevant in the workforce. If you've noticed people losing their jobs because they can't leverage AI tools to simplify their daily tasks, the best way to safeguard your job and even get ahead is to master AI and boost your efficiency tenfold. So basically OpenAI's launch of SearchGPT is being seen as a major threat to Google's dominance in search, which has been in the spotlight since ChatGPT's rise in 2022. Curiously, folks, in response, Google has added AI features to its own search engine to fend off competition from rivals like ChatGPT and Perplexity, the latter being backed by Jeff Bezos. Despite these efforts, it looks like Alphabet's impressive double-digit advertising revenue growth from the second quarter showed that speculation about its vulnerability to AI competition hadn't panned out. That is, until now. But you know, I think SearchGPT represents a much more direct and formidable challenge to Google than anything we've seen before. But let me know in your comments below if you agree. Is this going to be the Google killer or is this all just hype? Anyway, OpenAI describes SearchGPT as a prototype that merges the power of their AI models with real-time web information, delivering fast, timely answers with clear and relevant sources. 
One of the coolest features of SearchGPT is its visual answers. While details are still a bit sketchy, it looks like this will include AI-generated videos and images to spice up the search experience. And this could probably be a real game changer for visual learners or for topics that really benefit from graphical representations. Then OpenAI has been steadily working towards better real-time web integration for ChatGPT. It's safe to say that GPT 3.5 was an early step in that direction, offering more current information. Then they introduced the Browse with Bing feature, a basic version but a clear sign of their bigger plans. Now SearchGPT takes a huge leap by putting AI at the heart of web searches. I think it's clear that OpenAI doesn't just want to compete with current search engines, but probably they want to completely redefine how we interact with online information. I say this because by making searches more conversational and seamlessly blending in up-to-date web data, they're aiming for a smoother, more efficient user experience. Obviously, this prototype phase is crucial for ironing out any issues and ensuring the system works well for a wide audience before a full rollout. Uh, think of it like a beta period. They're obviously focused on gathering feedback, making tweaks, and delivering a polished product. So folks, what's next for SearchGPT? OpenAI plans to keep tweaking and enhancing the experience, especially in areas like information and e-commerce. They'll be looking for feedback from both users and publishers to make this service even better. If you're keen to try it out, you can sign up for the waitlist on the website. You know, folks, with Google facing major antitrust lawsuits and new AI-powered search tools like SearchGPT coming into the scene, we're seeing big changes in how people find and access information online. I mean, if SearchGPT really delivers on its promises, it could truly be a revolution because for the first time in over 20 years, uh, people will start using search engines other than Google. All right, folks, now turning to a more pressing issue. OpenAI is dealing with significant financial troubles. According to internal projections, the company is expected to lose a staggering $5 billion this year. That's right, $5 billion. To put that into perspective, that's roughly the GDP of a small country. So what exactly is going on? Well, it turns out that developing and maintaining AI models like ChatGPT is incredibly costly. The company needs to pay for massive amounts of computing power to process all the data and generate responses. And we're not talking about just any computer because we're talking about supercomputers that can handle enormous amounts of information. But that's not all. OpenAI has also been on a hiring spree to help develop and improve its AI models. In fact, the company has doubled its workforce in the past year alone. And all those new employees come with a hefty price tag. Now, folks, you might be wondering how OpenAI plans to handle these massive losses. While they do generate some revenue from ChatGPT, it's nowhere near enough to cover their expenses. Estimates suggest that ChatGPT brings in only about $100 million to $200 million a year, which is just a small fraction of what OpenAI needs to break even. So who's picking up the tab? Well, Microsoft is stepping in with subsidies to help cover the losses. However, even with Microsoft's deep pockets, OpenAI is having a tough time finding a sustainable business model. The primary issue is that their main focus is on research, not actually making money or producing a product to sell. They want to push the boundaries of AI, but that's a pricey and time-consuming endeavor. And while ChatGPT has been a big hit, it's still unclear how OpenAI plans to monetize it in the long run. This brings up some big questions about OpenAI's future. Can they figure out a business model that actually works, or will they keep relying on Microsoft's support? And what happens if Microsoft decides to stop funding them? The reality is, developing AI is incredibly challenging and expensive because it's not just about throwing money at the problem and hoping for the best. It takes time, effort, and a lot of resources to create AI models that are truly universal and effective. Despite these hurdles, OpenAI is still pushing the limits of what's possible with AI, which is still pretty exciting. So let me know in the comments what you think about SearchGPT, folks, and leave a like if you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one, folks. You all take care.